Last Friday, New York may have been hit by a snowstorm, but there was no doubt that snow or shine, this was a day to celebrate. That's because March 20th was International Day of Happiness. And who better to celebrate with than music star Pharrell Williams, whose hit Happy has become the day's unofficial anthem. Writing the song was about going back to basics, Pharrell said in an interview with UN Television. After, you know, eight or nine tries, finally I just asked myself, you know, how do you write a song about a guy that's just like relentlessly happy? And then that's when I realized the answer was in the question. And what makes this musical star happy? Well, he says that protecting our planet will ensure the happiness of future generations, urging his fans and the world to support the 2015 Climate Change Conference in Paris, set to take place in November this year. I'm working with um, Live Earth um, to raise the issue of uh, climate change and global warming, raise the awareness, and we're also working to get a you know, a solid agreement um, in Paris. We need that. And that's what everyone else can do. Everyone else can, you know, send their signatures in so we can get over a billion, not just a billion, but over a billion. Because there's seven billion people on the planet. You'd like to think that more than one seventh of our planet cares about its home. Later, as an audience waited to see William speak in the United Nations General Assembly Hall, we spoke to six-year-old Pharrell fan Eliana Thomas. For her, happiness is pretty simple. If I hear the happy song, I always dance. And while Eliana practiced, those lucky enough to snag the hottest ticket in town gathered for a celebration like no other. For some, the waiting was pretty agonizing. I would go crazy if he waved at me. <laughs> Music brought me happiness. And when you find out what makes you happy, and it can be something as detailed as a long-term goal, or it can be something as simple as the way I feel when my son smiles. You should know that happiness is your birthright. Afterwards, 17-year-old Azara Enduhar and 15-year-old Sarah Wilkinson told United Nations Television about their experience of the International Day of Happiness. Just, it was the whole thing was just inspiring. It was just, wow. <laughs> I feel like this was like an experience that you should have, and this day should be celebrated <laughs> because you should be happy. <laughs> For the United Nations, this is Alexandra King.